Logic Pro for iPad comes with eight synthesizers built in, and while these stock instruments sound great, their bare-bones UIs and limited editing options when compared to the Logic Pro for Mac counterparts means you may want to dive into the App Store and see what third-party alternatives are available. And there are lots, so in this video I'll share five of what I think are the best AUV3 synth apps that you should be using with Logic Pro for iPad. You might look at the design of Baby Audio's BA1 and think, hmm, that's a bit interesting. The design of the app makes a whole lot more sense though when you discover that it's modelled on the Yamaha CS01, a classic analogue monosynth from the 80s. They've taken all the features of the Yamaha CS01 and added several modern touches, like additional oscillators, polyphony and an effects bank. All of which results in BA1 ending up as something a wee bit special. Look past the retro stylings however and you'll notice you have all the features and controls required to create and edit your own sounds. Dual oscillators, filter and envelope sliders, plus ADSR controls allow you to get stuck in and shape your sounds. Baby Audio have also added a battery slider which adds a warbly lo-fi effect. And for even more lo-fi grit, you can even disable the speaker using the switch beneath it. If you're looking for a synth with some real 80s nostalgic character, you won't find better than Baby Audio's BA1. Another app that mimics the sound of an iconic synthesizer, AudioKit's NerdSynth aims to put the sounds of the Nord Lead A1 at your fingertips. NerdSynth's UI is split over six tabs, where you'll find effects, multiple oscillators, LFO controls, XY pads and a robust sequencer. In what's become something of a tradition for AudioKit, developer Matthew Fetcher has once again reached out to all manner of iOS musicians, creators and YouTubers to come up with some presets for NerdSynth. The over 400 patches are nothing short of phenomenal, and include sounds crafted by the likes of Matthew himself, Electronic Sounds, DMT Cymatics, Moby Pixel, Red Sky Lullaby, Sound of Israel and more. NerdSynth is an astoundingly great sounding and intuitive synth app that'll keep you busy for hours iOS music production app newcomers will love the hundreds of included presets and easy to navigate UI, while more seasoned synth tweakers will enjoy the wealth of in-depth editing and control options. It's definitely not to be missed. If you're unfamiliar with AudioKit synth apps and want to check out what they're all about before shelling out some moolah, their excellent King of FM serves as a brilliant and completely free entry point. King of FM features hundreds of sampled sounds from the legendary Yamaha DX7, DX72, TX81Z and SY77 synths. 
You can access each of these sounds on their own if you want, or you can meld two together, add effects, tinker with LFOs, and create complicated sequences until you've created something altogether different and unique. The app comes with over 150 presets if you want to explore what it's capable of, but when you're ready to dive in and do some tweaking, tapping one of the four buttons at the top of King of FM's interface will take you to one of four tabs. Main, PCM, EFX, and the Sequencer tab. A great sounding and easy to get to grips with synth app, Audio Kit could have easily charged for this, and I reckon a lot of people would buy it. For free though, this is a no-brainer. Go and grab it and get stuck in. Moog's Mariana is a dual-layer bass-focused synthesizer, allowing you to mix together two completely different synthesizer sounds. Each layer is built around two oscillators, with a sub-oscillator adding some low-end weight. Each layer also has its own control section, with multiple LFOs, filters, and random generators. Finally, there is an output section where you can mix and pan both synths, plus apply multiple effects, compression, and use meters, which display left and right RMS levels, stereo correlation, and compressor gain reduction. Mariana is a monophonic synth, which makes it perfect for creating hard-hitting bass lines and sequences. Having said that, I also really enjoy some of the more ethereal and weird pad sounds you can get out of it too. also has the ability to link up with other Moog apps like their excellent Mogar Fogar pedal effects, which makes the sound design potential of this thing pretty much endless. Not much more to say really, Mariana is my go-to app for synth-based sounds, as it's just a cut above other similar instruments in terms of quality. Plus is a mind-bogglingly superb collaboration between iOS developer Bramboss and experimental electronic music producer Heimbach. Now, Flus is mental and weird and amazing. In a nutshell, it's a granular synthesizer and effects processor, but one that allows you to manipulate tiny grains of audio in a range of complex ways. You can bring in your own wave files and mangle them up with Fluss's unique set of controls, or you can make use of its extensive library of presets crafted by Heimbach himself. Whether you're into creating weird, glitchy electro or rolling ambient soundscapes, Fluss will add a unique bit of spice to your sounds. It's mad, and I love it.
another freebie to finish us off, Monolith is a unique and powerful synth from veteran iOS developers Bleas. Bleas have essentially distilled a lot of what makes their super popular full fat synths, megalith and alpha synth down into a lightweight, easy to use monophonic synth app. Yes, Monolith is monophonic, so you won't be bashing out any complex chords with it. Instead, it specializes in creating some truly gnarly bass, leads and arpeggiated sounds. And the sounds on offer here are brilliant, with the arpeggiated sounds in particular standing out for me. Bliss apps in general are great and weird and brilliant, but there is something really special about their synth apps. Although monophonic, Monolith still has that Bleece secret sauce in it that sets it apart from other similar apps and plugins, and it serves as an accessible introduction to their full synth apps, should you like what Monolith has to offer. Alright, I need your help a wee bit here, this is a purely subjective list, these are the synth apps that I really like, but with so many available, I've definitely missed out some that you might consider essential. So please share what iPad synth app you would recommend and why down in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there, I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. You'll find a list of every app mentioned in this video down in the description as well, and you might be surprised to learn that every single one of them works really well with one of Logic Pro for iPad session players in particular. To find out which one and how to do it, watch this next.